Hi, beautiful people. So it is almost Thanksgiving and holidays coming up. And I see so many posts that are like, cut toxic people out of your life and get rid of all the toxic people in your life and all of this stuff. And I actually heard a term for it called cancel culture. That like if, if anybody does anything wrong, you know, you're just like, you're canceled out of my life forever. And although I am absolutely a proponent of setting healthy boundaries and trying to surround yourself with non-toxic people that lift you up and cheer you on, I also recognize that the nuances of human relationships are such that we can't always cut who we experience as toxic out of our lives. You know, maybe there are parents or maybe there are community members or there are parents at our kids' schools or there are any number of different reasons that for one reason or another, maybe we have to co-parent with an ex that we experience as being toxic. And so sometimes cut off from those relationships isn't always an option, nor does it always feel healthy um, to us that there's some room for people to be imperfect or people to, you know, even be a little toxic, but we still have to interact with them. Now, let me be clear. If somebody is extremely abusive to you and if you can get rid of them, of course, get rid of them. But I recognize that sometimes we have to interface with toxic family members or toxic people. So how can we cope with that. So the first thing is talking about different kinds of boundaries. And we oftentimes when we think about boundaries, it's like we have to explain and verbalize everything that we are feeling and talking about. And there's actually different ways of setting boundaries. Maybe you just commit to going for a shorter amount of time. And if your nervous system knows that you're only going to be there for a short amount of time, then you can kind of just relax. It's a boundary that can help you stay in a place of calm and in a place of compassion where you're just like, oh, it's three o'clock. We got to hit the road. (laughs) Love you guys. See you later. Right? There's another way of setting emotional boundaries that, you know, maybe a good metaphor is like Neo from the matrix where he like, pew, 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 like catches all the bullets. You know, if people are making snide comments or they're being passive aggressive or being kind of yucky or toxic, can you visualize like, choo, 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 right? Like not allowing that to be absorbed So I have a phrase that I often use. It's like, observe, don't absorb. Can you try to keep some of that toxicity out here? Sometimes I'll even do that where I'll like create an invisible boundary or bubble for myself if I have to interface with somebody that just doesn't feel good in my system. And so really creating uh, an imaginary boundary um, for yourself. And... Sometimes when people are really toxic, there is no amount of boundary setting or mindfulness or meditating that can keep all of that out, right? We're human. And if we have a a big heart or a sensitive nervous system or a, a kind heart and somebody says something yucky to us, that sometimes we can't, we can't Neo or Matrix our way out of that. And sometimes one of those yucky daggers or bullets actually gets in. And so I think a a both and approach, right? Like a yes, having emotional boundaries or time boundaries or space boundaries. Maybe you try not to sit with them um, at Thanksgiving dinner or whatever. Uh, But also really, if they do get in and hurt your feelings to have uh, some grace around that. I wouldn't recommend going to that person necessarily. Maybe you say, hey, that really hurts my feelings. But generally speaking, toxic folks aren't really known for 
validating or taking accountability for their actions. They'll usually blame or shame or defect or whatever. So recognizing that sometimes things get in, even if we're trying to set emotional boundaries, and to take care of ourselves in that. Because when somebody does something crappy, then it hurts, right? And you're human. So of course, we want to try to have a a large enough capacity that it doesn't completely destroy us or derail us, but that we can acknowledge that something got in or something hurt us and to feel into that, to process through it so that we truly can let it go and not just, you know, put on a happy face or blame ourselves or get mad at ourselves for not having perfect boundaries or healthy boundaries or whatever. So this holiday season, I just invite you to embrace the nuances of human relationship. Uh, Of course, hold people accountable as needed and take care of yourself, setting boundaries, having some grace for when things maybe do hurt your feelings and find good, safe people to help you process through that. And yeah, do no harm, but take no crap is, is I think my mantra for (laughs) this holiday season. So I wish you all, uh, well and good in the upcoming weeks, as I know that holidays can be hard for folks. Be well. Bye.